Hi everyone, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how I create app icons. I'll be using Affinity Designer today and I use that because it's a one-off fee that you pay and then you can just use it um, forever, you don't pay like subscriptions. I use the Noun Project typically to look up some icons because they have quite a wide range. Uh, you want to choose something that's fairly simple so that's going to be recognisable on a small icon but also distinct enough that it's going to be recognisable as your own app. I've chosen this one here and when you choose um, to get this icon you actually need to give the creator some credit there. There are some of these things that you can customise if you're using Pro so you might want to be able to change the colour. I'm not using Pro today, I'm just going to be using the basic um, free version um, which means I need to give um, credit to the user who created it. Um, and I can't change the colors and stuff like that. So when I go ahead, I can then choose to download, and I'm going to choose to download the SVG. Um, the reason I'm downloading the SVG is it can be any large size, and it's going to look good. So now I've opened up Affinity Designer and I'm going to want to create a new document. So I'm going to go ahead and create my document. I'm going to make that quite a large size document as I'm going to want to be able to use this for um, like the App Store icon on um, Apple. And so that would be a larger sized icon and I'm just wanting to keep it, my options open in terms of what um, I use it for. So it's better to create it large and then size it down to your requirements. I'm going to go ahead and add a rectangle that's just going to give me a nice background color and then on top of that rectangle I'll be able to place the image that I want so that that will be my app icon. So I'll go place from files and I'll choose my file and just drag it to the size that I want. Because it's an SVG it will look good. Um, regardless of the sort of amount I increase the size of it because, um, yeah, it's an SVG. If I'd chosen PNG, then it would have just looked good up to its specific size. But you can see I can zoom in on that endlessly and it still looks good. I'm moving that text off screen just so it looks a little bit better. And then I've pretty much got my app icon there. You can zoom out also if you wanted to do anything but when I go ahead and save I can enter the name and you can also select what type and then you can just click export and choose where you want to save it you can also choose to resize the icon here so if I want it 60 by 60 I could do that and then I could go ahead and save that if I wanted to. If you're wanting to see what it looks like on small in smaller um, modes, then you can just sort of zoom out. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content.